Uh, it's nice to be able to control the weather. We gave a good weekend for you. Low 80s, very nice. And now temperatures are into the upper 70s area wide. It looks great, right? The uh, warm spot is Ridgecrest, and it's only 86 degrees, so that's nothing. So we have clouds on the increase, not so much tonight, but late tomorrow we'll start to see more clouds as the weather starts to move in from the west for a change. And as it does so, it also adds a rainfall chance, but not really until Wednesday. Here's a look at future radar. Not much to show you for Tuesday in the next 24 hours, but as we get toward Wednesday around noon, uh, if you're going to the Los Angeles area, rainfall chances look pretty good there. And as we advance in time to around 5, 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, thunderstorms are in the forecast. That's what happens when you see that orange blob right there on the future raid, radar. And it could last into Wednesday night into part of your Thursday. So get prepared for that. Won't that be great to hear some... I think that'd be great. 77 is our current temperature. Winds are west at 9. There's a live look outside. The air quality improving. It's been in that good to moderate range for the last few days, and it will stay there. Other highs today looked pretty good. We had 76 only up in the northern tip of the state in Redding, and the hot spot was, you know, the Palm Springs area, but that was only in the mid-90s, and that's not bad at all. We had upper 70s along the coast, right? Very pleasant weather. Clouds, then sun in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, up towards Fresno, it got to 80. The high today was 78. The average is 83 for this time of year. So, again, below average. That's a weird thing to say. Haven't been saying that lately. And here's our storm system taking shape on the far western regions of the Pacific. It's moving our way. And as it does so, uh, the rainfall chances look very good for the Southland. And for us, we're going to go at about 40% for the mountains and 20% for the valley floor. So the forecast for tomorrow... A mixed bag of cloud and sun, sunny to start, clouds later in the day, and highs which would be in the upper 70s. And as we advance to the mountains, it looks pretty nice there too. Temperatures cooling off though. Lake Isabella 77 and uh, around 72 for Glenville. And it's Hatchby, mid 60s, overnight lows down to around 40. It's getting crisp out there, especially in the morning on the way to school for the kids, right? Upper 70s to low 80s for the deserts, and 85 should be the high in Ridgecrest. Air quality remains good. Our seven day forecast. Also looks very interesting. I broke out some rain icons. I had a hard time finding them when they've been put away for three months. And we dropped to the upper 60s on Thursday with a 20% chance of rain. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Kern River Valley, temperatures dropping off even more so. Now, the weekend looks good, but in between, we've got pretty good rainfall chances. And for the mountains, we put a snow level level up there for you. Eight to 7,000 feet. Wow. How times have changed. Yes. Was that even harder to find than the rain? <laughs> no, the rain icon was the hardest thing to find. I was like, yeah. where are you? And I'm scrolling through this All huge right. list. Yeah. Thanks, Colin. Okay.